How do you do, my friends, abundant everywhere, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen and people? I am the professor in this place, and physics is my business. And our special business today is more on the center of gravity because some strange ideas emerge. Consider this stick. You see how much I have to do with sticks? Oh, I could lecture for a hundred hours on a stick. Let's say this stick weighs ten pounds. Ten pounds. Now, we know this stick doesn't weigh ten pounds, but let us say this stick weighs ten pounds. And if I say it weighs ten pounds, that's what it weighs, if you have the imagination we require. So, let me put a, my finger here and my finger here, and the stick is supported, and at rest, and I say, if this is so, there is a force of five pounds up here and five pounds up there. Five up and five up equal ten down, and the stick stays there. Let me put my fingers closer. Each finger now supports with five pounds. Five up, five up equals ten down. Let me continue to do this, and pretty soon I come to a place where I can put one finger and push up with a force of ten pounds, and the stick stays there. Forces up equal to forces down. Now, if this is true, I am licensed to say that all the stick is right there at the center of gravity. All the stick is right there. Now, I said, I said that all the stick is right there. Now, if I say all the stick is right there, that's the weight of the stick, then there is no stick here and no stick here. Now, in my former lectures in, in the physics courses, I make it clear that there is no stick here and no stick here. All the stick is right there. Now, if I should ask you, do you see any stick here? You must say, no, Professor, I see no stick. And there's no stick here. Do you feel any stick? No, no, all the stick is right there. And that's where the center of gravity is. And I'm going to show you some more on the matter. Remember, all the stick is there. There's no stick here, none there. Here is a plumb bob, a plumb line. Plumb line is a weight on a string. This is in a vertical line, and if I continued it down, 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 I'd end up in the center of the earth. And some of my students sometimes wish they could drill a hole that deep and uh, put me down there. This is the direction of a plumb line. Now here I have a triangular slab of stuff, and I'm going to put the... Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me get unraveled here. I'm going to put a pin through here, and then I'm going to hang this plumb line there and make a mark behind on the body in question, which I've done with black tape. There it is. I say that the center of gravity of the sample lies on that line. So then I'm going to take it from another point, from another point, and I do the plumb line again, and let us imagine that I continue this. They all intersect at a place, which is the center of gravity. Proof! Remember, all that slab is right there. Sure, because I can exert one force right there, which keeps the slab at rest. So all the slab, all of that is right there. In a similar manner, all the slab of this piece of pie, piece of pie, all the weight of it is right there. In this one, all the weight of it is right there at the intersection of the plumb lines. In this one, all the weight is right there. Now you're going to say, Professor, I'm getting tired of this all the weight being uh, somewhere. Wait, we have a surprise. All the weight is right there. In this one, all the weight is right there. Of course, the center of gravity of a circular disk, which is uniformly thick, is in the geometric center. All of it's right there. Now you see if I drop the plumb lines, they all intersect somewhere in here. So I've got a surprise for you. All the weight of this slab is right there where there ain't no slab. <laughs> now that, that you see, you gotta be a little, you gotta be a little gone to understand me. I say all the weight of this thing is right there, and I'm going to prove it. And I thank you for watching.